capacity of the structure decreases. Under normal conditions, reinforcement steel is protected from corrosion by a thin passive film of hydrated iron oxide. This passive film is decomposed due to the reaction of concrete with atmospheric carbon dioxide, carbonation, or by the penetration of substances aggressive to steel, in particular chlorides from de-icing salt or salt water. The unprotected rebar is then subject to corrosion which is an electrochemical reaction shown here. This principle creates a potential difference that can be measured by the half cell method. As the half cell probe is moved across the concrete surface, the variation in the potentials measured allows the localization of the corrosion hotspot. Typical orders of magnitude for these half cell potentials may give a quick indication of the corrosion status. However, for a more detailed interpretation, other factors have to be taken into consideration. When handling copper sulphate, be careful to take note of the safety instructions on the packaging. Preparing the rod electrode. Before filling, remove the cap with the wooden plug and soak it in water for about an hour to allow the wood to saturate and swell and to ensure a low resistivity contact. Prepare the saturated solution by mixing 40 units by weight of copper sulphate with 100 units by weight of distilled water. The electrode should be filled as completely as possible with a minimum of air in the compartment. This ensures that the solution is in contact with the wooden plug even when measuring in an upwards direction. To guarantee that the solution remains saturated, Add an additional teaspoonful of copper sulphate crystals into the electrode. To prevent drying out, close the cap immediately. To prepare the wheel electrode, soak it in water for one hour. The wooden plug is not intended to be removed. Immerse the wheel in water well before you intend to use it to allow water to soak into the plug. The felt hoops and the felt hoop connector should be saturated with water to ensure a low resistivity contact before measuring. The electrode should be filled as completely as possible with a minimum of air in the compartment. And in order to ensure that the solution remains saturated, add an additional teaspoonful of copper sulphate crystals into the electrode. Close the copper sulphate compartment by using the Allen screwdriver included. Then open the water compartment and fill with water. For the four wheel electrode, each of the wheels should be prepared in the same way. 